where were the police? That's what one couple is asking after their vehicle was stolen. They were able to steal it back after they say police never showed up to the location where they tracked it down. Jonathan Orlando and his partner Jake Windsor got a bit of a shock in late April. Woke up to a pile of glass on our driveway. Glass left behind from his Acura that was missing. Uh, cops showed up, uh, took the report. From there it was kind of silent. Using the vehicle's app, the couple was able to track it down to this school parking lot in Etobicoke. They called police to let them know and the couple went there at 2 p.m. To our surprise, no one showed up. We waited out here in the parking lot till about 10 p.m. He was literally standing on the road trying to flag down a car because we couldn't get anyone to come. The thieves who stole their vehicle and parked it here seems like this was a secondary drop-off point. Put a club lock on the wheel. The thieves are protecting it from other thieves, which says a lot about the state of the city. So they say after police didn't show up, I decided I'm not handing my vehicle over to these guys. They stole it back. Luckily, CAA came and uh, within 10 minutes, mind you, and uh, saved the day for us. They had the vehicle towed to a dealership for repairs. They again called police, who said they'd send someone to the dealership. Provided the address. It'll be there in 15 minutes, but then nobody even followed up until the next day. Per the, the dealership, they didn't even actually go look at the vehicle. They just verified that it was there. They say they're still waiting for an update on where the investigation stands. A Toronto police spokesperson said officers in the division where the vehicle was located were dealing with, quote, 14 priority one and 31 priority two calls, our highest priority calls, including assaults, a stabbing, multiple calls for people in crisis, and numerous break and enters in progress on the day the call came came in. They say a located stolen vehicle is considered less of a threat, which led to the delay. While the couple understands police have their hands full, they say it doesn't explain why weeks later they still wait for an update on their investigation. I think it became evident they do not have the resources or the bandwidth to take on the volume of theft. This is why it's continuing to happen. Unless they are able to legally pursue the people who are responsible for this. As always, if you have an issue, story, or question you'd like us to look into, reach out by visiting the Speaker's Corner tab on the City News website. Pat Taney, City News.